Good, Good morning, morning FSBA. FSBA. I'm Kevin Even. And I'm Taylor Blanche. Today is Friday, April 28, 2017. We're here at the Florida Scholastic Press Association Convention, located in the beautiful Orlando, Florida. Coming up, Andrea Garrido will talk to us about the influence of transforming as an artist. And Sarah Sabatovsky will be sharing her tips and tricks on how to survive FSPA. Isabella de la Glana will show us what's getting fired up on our FSPA Twitter tracker. And lastly, Nicole Mirabal will be answering some burning questions on this weekend's weather. FSPA is a competition where hundreds of students gather to ignite their flame in the fields of broadcast journalism, all while competing, learning, and developing skills to reach their full potential in the buzzing spectrum of the media. So get ready to transform your future and prepare for a very special edition of FSPA Broadcast. FSPA, many passionate journalists will talk to us about how artists transform to reach success. Now here's Andrea with the details. Good afternoon, FSPA. The adrenaline rush and excitement is rising by the minute. After 71 years of hosting competitions and conventions, FSPA never seems to lose its spark and fuels the future for these young journalists. With so many teachers and students here at this convention, we were able to hear how their experiences have helped them evolve. Throughout my years in newspaper, I've been in the newspaper class for two years and I just really think that it's important that you get with your editors and you talk to the people around you and you really learn from each other because I started talking to my senior editors more and you can get so much information from someone that's been working in journalism for four years because journalism is evolving so quickly. Well I think that um, selling ads is very important because we get to talk to different people and make resources and you know for later in life if we ever need to have um, a specific thing or talk to someone about something, you have a lot of contacts. All students and even teachers have someone to thank or look up to. Here we take a look to who that special person is. Probably, probably my teacher, Ms. Sivko, because she's just really influential in my life because before I joined her class, um, I never really thought of joining communications and journalism in general, so she really influenced me to go into publications and that kind of stuff. So um, I'm a co-advisor um, for American Heritage uh, School's yearbook, and so definitely Miss Diana Adams, who's kind of a legend in American Heritage, has really helped um, me kind of grow into the role. Signing off from FSPA, I'm Andrea Garrido reporting. We all know the chaos, stress, and emotion that goes into the production of a piece here at FSPA. Here's Iris Evatovsky with a few tips on how to prepare for the mayhem of this year's convention. FSPA. A high adrenaline, blood rushing environment. Chaos at its finest. Flocks of students running around trying to finish exporting and get that perfect shot. Sounds intimidating, right? Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm Iris Sivotovsky, and this is Iris' Declassified FSPA Survival Guide. A big part of coming to FSPA is to network, whether it be with professionals in the industry or peers your own age. First impressions matter, so always make sure to dress and behave appropriately, in front of and behind the camera. Time flies when you're having fun, and at FSPA, deadlines are a make it or break it deal, and an hour can go by at the strike of a match, so make sure to turn in your pieces on time. Despite all the stress we've endured and the hours of sleep we lost, FSPA is really all about having fun and learning, growing from others around you and yourself. Make sure to share your memories with FSPA on Twitter. Those are all the tips I have to share with you today, and I hope the rest of your FSPA doesn't go down in flames. I'm Iris Sotovsky, reporting. Here's Isabella de la Granada to show us what's been chirping on our Twitter tracker, FSPA edition. FSPA is all about today's media, ranging from Snapchat, Instagram to Twitter. I'm Isabel Delagrana, here to update you on what's been fueling up on today's Twitter tracker. The long bus rides from all around Florida came here to make their mark at Wyndham Orlando Resort. After a long day of submissions and deadlines, FSPA reps were firing it up and registration. <whistles> Opening ceremony was a success. The lip sync battle was a locked up memory to put in our yearbook. 
Only here at FSPA, we have a variety of different schools showing their school spirit. Don't forget to check out the photo booth using the hashtag FSPA2017 at our very own Twitter. <whistles> Signing off from FSPA, I'm Isabel Delagrana tweeting. It's a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida. Let's stop, drop, and roll into our next segment with Nicole Mirabal, who's going to be telling us what's heating up in this weekend's weather forecast. Good morning, FSPA. I'm Nicole Mirabal, and I'm here in the Windham Orlando Resort, located in the heart of sunny central Florida. Let's see what's firing up in today's forecast. Today, there will be a high of 95 and a low of 73. Saturday will consist of a high 92 and a low 71. On Sunday, there will be a high of 90 and a low of 71. Throughout this weekend, we will have a 10% chance of rain. So now it's time to turn up your AC and prepare for the sunny spring rays that are here to stay. I'm Nicole Miraban, reporting. That's all for today, FSBA. We hope you transform into successful artists. Thank you for watching.